KCSE 2016 Chemistry Paper 2 Question number 7 Testing on the periodic table but first effects of heat on nitrates So part A Write an equation to show the effects of heat on the nitrates of potassium. So we know potassium is a very reactive metal and therefore its nitrate would decompose to give the nitrite and oxygen gas as discussed in form 2. So we would balance with a 2 on potassium nitrate and a 2 on potassium nitrite to score the first mark. Now, to the nitrate of silver, silver is a metal that is very low in the reactivity series, so its nitrate, therefore, would decompose when heated to give the metal silver. We shall get some nitrogen oxide gas as well and oxygen. So, Again, we balance with a 2 on silver nitrate, a 2 on silver metal, and a 2 on nitrogen 4 oxide for the next mark. So now to some elements in the periodic table. So the table below gives information about elements A1 to A4. So we have elements atomic number, atomic radius, and here there's a misprint. It should have been ionic radius. So you take note that the ionic radius of A1 to A3 is actually less than their atomic radius. So most probably these are metallic elements that lose electrons to be stable. But looking at A4, the atomic radius now is actually less than the ionic radius. So A4 is obviously an unmetal. And again, we've been given the atomic numbers here. So we can even tell what these elements are. So having mastered that, let us now proceed to answer the questions based on what we have been given in this table. The first question, in which period of the periodic table is element A2? Element A2 has atomic number 5, so its configuration is 2, 3. Now we have always said that period is given by the number of occupied shells. We can see A2 has two occupied energy levels, and for that matter, it belongs to period 2 for the first mark and then we give a reason that it has two occupied energy levels for the next mark making them 2 for the first question now to the next question explain why the atomic radius of A1 is greater than that of A2. So A1 has a configuration to 1 because it's atomic number 3 and A2 has a configuration to 3 because it has atomic number 5. So obviously the atomic radius of A1 is greater than that of A2 according to the data given in our table. So what happens is a3, A2, sorry, has more protons, or A2 has a greater nuclear charge. That's what makes its atomic radius to be smaller than that of A1. So the expected answer here would have been A2 has greater nuclear charge for the first mark as compared to A1. Another reason that a student can give is that A2 has 
more protons than A1. So then what happens is that there is greater pull on the electrons of A2. Hence, reduced size as compared to A1. So, giving the reason and going ahead to explain would give the next mark totaling two marks. To the next question, there was a misprint because the only element that has a smaller atomic radius compared to ionic radius is A4. So here we shall change, it's not A1, it is A4. So the atom of A4, as we have seen in the table, is smaller than its ion. The reason being that A4 gains, it gains electrons to be stable. So then what happens? What happens is that the incoming electron, incoming electron is uh, repelled. It is repelled by the existing ones. It is uh, repelled by the existing ones, hence increased electron cloud. So gaining electrons one mark, explaining the increased repulsion, another mark to give the two marks for that section. So we proceed to the next question. And here we are asked select the element which is in the same group as A3. So probably we go through the elements again. A1 has a configuration of 2-1. A2 has a configuration of 283 because it is atomic number 13. This is A3, sorry, not A2. A2 is atomic number 5, configuration 23. And A4, atomic number 17, configuration 287. So to know the group, we normally check the number of electrons in the outermost shell. And you can see A3 shares the same number of electrons in the outermost shell with A2. So same group as A3, the element is A2 to give the one mark for that section. Finally, we are told to draw dot and cross diagram to represent bonding between A1, this is 2-1, and A4287. So obviously, the kind of bond we expect here is ionic, A1 losing its only outer electron to A4. So we shall have the nucleus of A1, and then we show that on the outermost level, we shall only remain with two electrons. One will have been lost. And this way we are forming a cut ion, and then A4, would be here. It will now have eight electrons on the outermost shell, one having been received from A1. And then it will now form an anion. And therefore, ionic bond would exist. So two marks, half for the ions, half for the accepted electron and a half for the two electrons that remain on A1. Thanks for watching. That was all as tested in the year 2017 for the periodic table, but it's also included some questions on thermal decomposition of nitrates.